Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to talk about how to set up a free VPN server in the AWS cloud using OpenVPN. Myself, Muhammad Zubair, and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So without any further ado, let's get started. Well, as we know that we can have free VPN servers with the help of AWS in the cloud. But in this video, we'll see that how we can use that with the help of OpenVPN. This is the official website of OpenVPN. You can create your account in here and you can start using its services. But as the title says, we want to do it for free. So I'll just close this one and let's head to our AWS. This is my AWS. Let's go to its services and here click on EC2. What EC2 is? Well, basically EC2 is a virtualization service that allows you to create different instances or in simple words, allows you to install different virtual machines in the cloud. So I'll just click on it. And there is one thing that I want to tell you, and that is if you are creating a new account onto AWS, you will get 750 hours for free to use on your EC2 services. Now, here it says launch instance. So as we want to create a new instance, just click on this button it will show you two options, either launch an instance or launch an instance from the template. We do not have any template available, so I'll just click on launch instance option. It will open a new window for you. From here, give the name to your new instance. I'll name it as VPN underscore server. After that, scroll down. Here it says application and OS images. I do not have anything in here that I was looking for, so I'll just click on this search icon. After that, go to your AWS Marketplace AMIs and click on the search bar. In here, we'll look for OpenVPN. So I'll just write here OpenVPN and I'll hit enter. It will look for anything that resembles with OpenVPN or that is related to OpenVPN. So here if you see here, we have OpenVPN access server, access server with 10 connected devices, with 25, 5 and if you keep scrolling down, you will have different options. We do not want any connected devices, so I'll go with the first option. So for that, just click on select. It is installed on Ubuntu as it confirms from here as well. And here it says typical total price is $0.023 per hour. Do not worry, we'll use the free one. How can we use that? Just click on this continue button. And here we have our OpenVPN access server community image. Just scroll down and here it says instance type what type of instance we want to use. Just click on this drop down arrow. It will show you a list. We want to use the one that is free. And here it says free tier eligible. Just click on this one. Or if I just click on it again, here I have different information. I'll get one CPU and one gigabyte of memory. And here I'll get a 0.6 gigabyte of memory. You can go with any one of these. I'll go with this one, scroll down. And here it says key pair login. Well, this is the key that you will be needing in order to access your OpenVPN server after its creation. In case if you do not have any key, just click on this create new key pair and from here enter the name that you want to give to your key. I'll name it as VPN. After that, here it says private key file format. Here we have two options. In case if you want to access your OpenVPN server through PuTTY, you have to go with .ppk format. Or in case if you want to go with SSH or let's say you want to access your OpenVPN through terminal, through command prompt or PowerShell, in that case you should go with .pem format or .pem. After that click on create key pair, it will download a file for you just like this one. Let me just close this one. And now scroll down and here it says network setting. Leave everything as it is and make sure to allow SSH traffic. Then scroll down and leave everything as it is and just click on launch instance. Here it will take a little bit of time to launch our instance that we have just created. So let's wait for it and then we'll move ahead. And here we are done as it says successfully initiated launch of instance. Let's go to see all our instances and there we'll have our open VPN server. Here it is. Here it is in the running state. Just right click on it in order to connect it. So here we have an option that says connect, just click on it. And here it will tell you about how you can connect to your instance through different things. 
we want to connect it through ssh client so just go with this option and here it says open an ssh client locate your private key file and we have other instructions in here the thing that we need is this particular command that says ssh space hyphen i and then rest of it now let's copy this command and after that i'll open my command prompt so i'll just search for that here it is i'll just paste the command that i have just copied okay here is one thing that we need to change and that is instead of using vpn.pem we have to give the path where i have this particular file because that file is in my downloads directory so i'll just change it and i'll head back to you so here we are and i have just done that i'll hit enter now and here it is accessing everything and it has started the process i'll enter yes to confirm everything hit enter again hit enter keep hitting enter with the default option because i'm sure you do not want to change anything from here here it is initializing our openvpn as it says leave everything as it is and wait for the process to get complete and then we'll move ahead and now here it says we need to log in as the user openvpn as instead of root so what we need to do we need to use the same command that we have used earlier and instead of logging in as root user we have to log in as openvpn as so i'll just write here openvpn as and now i'll hit enter let's wait for it and let's see what does it ask us now here we need to have the password for a user that is there by default as openvpn so i'll write here sudo space pawswd openvpn and hit enter i'll have my password hit enter i'll retype it to confirm it and we have successfully updated the password so we are done with everything that was there to be done in order to create a server for a vpn now question is how can we access it so for that purpose head back to your instance here it is and from here we need to have its ipv4 address so for that purpose i'll head to my instance and here we have its public ipv4 address i'll just copy that one and now i'll open a new tab and in here i'll write https colon slash slash and paste the ip address that you have just copied after that colon and here we have to write the port number which is 943 slash admin because we want to access the admin panel hit enter it will open open vpn login screen for you in case if you see the warning message from the google do not worry go with the advanced option and proceed to access your open vpn access server here we have to write the username and in our case that username was open vpn if you remember so i'll write here open vpn and enter the password that you have set earlier and hit enter it will allow you to sign in into your open vpn from here agree with the license agreement and click on it and you are good to go so here you can see we have successfully accessed our open vpn and this is its configuration or you can say its dashboard from here you can do different things the one thing that you should do is go to your vpn settings and in case if you want all of your traffic to go through this one scroll down and look for routing here it says should client internet traffic be routed through the vpn select this option as yes and you are good to go scroll down and click on this save settings button so that the changes can take place permanently and now the question is how the users will access this particular vpn because it's an admin panel but i want to use it as a user so for that purpose remove this line from admin and just hit enter once again it will open the users console now here write the user login in our user case open vpn again is the user so i'll write here open vpn i'll enter its password hit enter and from here we have different devices for which we can use this particular one i want to use it for my windows operating system so i'll just click on it it will download a file for me like this so let's download it and let's wait for the process to get complete and then we'll install it into our windows operating system and then we'll see if it is working or not we are done with the download and here is one thing that i want to tell you and that is your windows operating systems windows defender might refrain you to install this particular one into your operating system do not worry you can turn off your windows defender and then you can install it so let's see if we can do it or not yes we can do that just click on next accept the license agreement click on next click on install and click on yes from here and you are good to go let's wait for the installation to get completed and then we'll see if we can use it or not into our windows operating system 
I'll just click on this finish button. And in case if you do not see your open VPN opening on its own, just go to your icon tray and from here you can access it as you can see here it is just click on it and from here you can use that very easily now i'll just cross the tour board and i'll agree with everything and here it says settings update click on ok and now i'll just start this one in order to start it again we have to enter the username and password and if you remember the username was open vpn and we had our password click on ok and it will start VPN on our Windows operating system. As you can see, this is the traffic. This is the bytes in duration, bytes out. And here we have the information about the packets. If you scroll down, you will get more information. And here it says, if we want our PC to be discovered by other PCs and devices. So it's all up to you. How do you want to go? After that, if you scroll down here, you will have some other information in here. And now let's try one more thing at the end and let's see what is our IP address. So I'll write here, what is my IP address? Hit enter. Here it says, this is my public IP address, but I know this is not the actual one. This is the one of my VPN server, which is this one. So that was all about that, how you can create a VPN server on AWS cloud with the help of open VPN server. I hope now that you must have liked watching this particular video. And I hope now that you must have learned a lot of new things in terms of creating your VPN servers. If that is the case, please leave a like, subscribe and press the bell icon. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you have anything to ask, please leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible.